guys, welcome to another class on Berko Institute. I'm Gideon, your generator technician. Uh, we have a challenge on our hands. This generator was actually used by my client, but uh, something came up. He said using the generator, the generator sound is too loud. And of course, via the phone, I advised him to reduce the speed through this um, spring gear, through this screw that's attached to a spring gear. But he said he has done that and the generator still didn't get back to its usual set. And of course, I had to do it myself. So let me start, so we'll continue. Okay. If you notice carefully, I equally tried to reduce just now, reduce the speed of the generator via the screw, and the generator still did not come back to life. So, what is that is happening to the generator is the governor. Okay, the governor has lost its setting. So, we'll be doing that in a GC. But before that, we have to take off the tank. So when you have a generator with sound so loud and you've tried to reduce via the, the spring attached to the governor, it is now clear that the governor itself is, is at fault. Okay. Okay, this is the governor itself. This is the spring I was trying to adjust. And I even adjusted it to the very end at one point, but still didn't work out. If I had adjusted this and it loosed off, the gen would have gone off. Okay? And that still would not fix the generator. So it is crystal clear now that the governor is at fault. At fault, rather. This is the governor this particular rod here let me call it a rod is connected to the governor inside the crankcase inside the engine but of course there is every possibility we can adjust the the governor we can set the governor from just this um, rod here so without wasting much of your time let's dive straight into business uh, before setting the governor you have to lose this Looking at this governor, I discovered it has been worked on several times, but for some reason, it still has issues again. Okay, so what we are supposed to do is to use this flat screwdriver to move this to the. But the flat screwdriver is not working. I was also use it to move it uh, clockwise. Moved it clockwise at one point, then moved it anti clockwise again. We had to use the plier. Originally, we would be using we would be using the screwdriver because the screwdriver is meant to be used on this particular part. This particular part, but yes, yeah, bad at the moment, so you have to use the plier to do justice to it. And meanwhile, while I was doing that, I had to hold this. Okay, watch carefully. I held this to position. In fact, I held this to to the left with my left hand to the left, so it doesn't lose position. And then we tie it further. Okay, tie it further. After tightening, one good way to know if you successfully adjusted the governor very well it's after tight after holding it to position it doesn't return on its own it doesn't return on its own and you'll be the one to make it return now by using a screwdriver or your hands okay what you are doing now is to adjust it 
accordingly. Okay, immediately after adjusting the governor just now, this was not going back and forth. But after pushing this to the right, it went back and forth. Let's kickstart the janitor to see if we successfully adjusted the governor to standard. <laughs> All right, if you notice very well, the generator sound has reduced. And of course, we can now apply this, unlike before where you adjust this and it's of no importance. Okay, so guys, that is how to adjust the governor of a two-stroke generator like this. It's quite simple. It looks difficult, but in reality, it's very simple. So the best thing to do now is to couple the generator and give it back to our client. If you are new to this channel, guys, please do well to subscribe and do turn on notifications. So when other videos are posted, you are among the first to see them. If you are an old member of this channel, we really do appreciate your you consistently supporting us. We say thank you from the bottom of our heart. However, you can drop your questions in the comment section. We will attend to them all. But if you still want to have access to us directly, a one-on-one -on -one discussion via phone calls, or WhatsApp, FaceTime, whatever it is, you can quickly click the join button under this video and you have access to us we will meet in our, we will meet in our next video we we'll say goodbye from our end take care